Here we go. Up, up, up in the air. Ready for takeoff. Boggs, my kite won't fly. There's no wind. A kite needs wind to fly. Wind? We need wind? Where do we find wind? Where does wind come from anyway? Who do we ask for help when we have questions? Da 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 da! Maggie the magnifying glass! I'm Maggie, Maggie, I help to make things clear. Just look through my looking glass and answers will appear. I'm Maggie, Maggie, come and let's explore. And we'll discover lots of things you never knew before. I'm Maggie! You can find wind just about any place on Earth. Would you like to learn more about wind? If so, we can go on a little adventure together. Would you like to learn about wind too? You would? Me too! Yippee Skippy! Let's go! Don't forget your journal! Oh yeah, got it! My terrific scientific journal! Bring yours along too! Ready? Let's take a look at wind! What is air? Wind is moving air. Air surrounds our planet Earth. It's the atmosphere. When the air in the atmosphere moves, we call it wind. So wind is moving air. But what is air? That's a good question. First of all, the Earth is full of air. Air is everywhere. Air is made up of tiny molecules of different kinds of gases like oxygen and nitrogen. Air is important for just about every living thing on Earth. Plants need gases from the air to make food. Animals and people need oxygen gas that's in the air to breathe. Even though you can't see air, air pushes and squeezes things all around us. Air takes up spaces. When you blow air into a balloon, the gas molecules in the air fill the balloon. You can blow up a balloon because of the push of the gas molecules. That push is called air pressure. Balloons work because of the push of the air pressure. I'm going to write that down in my journal. So air is made up of gas. Air can push and squeeze. That's called air pressure. Got it. What causes wind? But what causes air to move? What causes the wind to blow? I was wondering the same thing. What makes wind? Excellent question. What causes air to move is the sun. Here's what happens. We all know that the sun is hot and that the sun heats the earth. The earth is tilted as it rotates or turns on its axis. Because of the tilt, some places on Earth get more of the sun's heat than other places. That's why some places on Earth are hot and some places are cold and different times of the year. Some places are always hot and some places on Earth are always cold. The uneven heating of the air in the atmosphere causes the air to move. Here's why. The sun heats up the Earth's surface. That warms up the air in the atmosphere. Warm air weighs less than cool air. The warm air rises or moves up. When the warm air moves up, it leaves an area of low pressure. Then the cool air, which weighs more than the warm air, sinks or moves down and replaces the warm air. Now, as the warm air moves up, 
it cools off, then begins to sink. This movement of air, warm air rising, cool air sinking, is what makes the wind blow. <laughs> warm air rises, cool air sinks. Oh, I get it. The sun heats the air in the atmosphere. The warm air rises and the cool air sinks. That's how the sun causes wind. Got it! Wind speed and direction. Our sun really gets things moving. For example, the wind helps birds to fly and boats to sail. Wind can even turn large turbines that can create electricity. And wind helps when it comes to flying kites. That's why my kite wouldn't fly. There wasn't enough wind in my backyard today. How come? Well, that's because wind doesn't always move at the same speed. Hmm. Wind doesn't always move at the same speed. Very interesting. So that means there's a fast wind and there's a slow wind. Sometimes winds can move fast. And sometimes winds can move slowly. Wind speed can change from place to place and from day to day. So wind changes like the weather. Actually, wind is part of the weather. Ah, wind is part of the weather. I get it. Wind can blow when it's sunny and warm. Wind can blow when it's cold and snowing. Wind can blow when it's raining. It's important for people who forecast the weather to measure how fast the wind is blowing. To do that, they use a weather instrument called an anemometer. An anemometer. An anemometer measures how fast the air is moving. Got it. It's also important to know which way the wind is blowing. Scientists use a wind vane or a wind sock to measure the wind's direction. The speed and direction of the air are affected by air pressure. Air speed and direction are also affected by the rotation of the Earth. The features of the Earth's surface, like a tall mountain, can change the speed and direction of the wind, too. Which direction is the wind blowing? Hmm. Types of wind. Did you know that there are different kinds of winds that blow in different patterns all over the world? And they have different names, too. The wind has names. Really? Hmm. I didn't know that. Did you? Air that moves towards the equator of the Earth is called the trade winds. Trade winds are warm and blow steady. When the winds from the north and the winds from the south meet near the equator, they rise quickly. The winds on the surface are very calm. The wind is so calm, it's called the doldrums. The warm air that moves away from the equator travels towards the north and south pole, where it is cooled off. It's called the prevailing winds. That's because they always blow. Very high in the atmosphere, there's a large, fast-flowing stream of air. This air blows above the surface of the Earth. It's called the jet stream. There's one jet stream over each hemisphere. 
Okay, that's really cool. So where do I find wind so that I can fly my kite? That's a good question. Well, let's look at some local wind patterns. The ocean is a short distance away. And on warm sunny days like today, there is a sea breeze. Here's what happens. The air over the land is warm and begins to rise. Cooler air from the ocean moves in and replaces the warm air. This motion creates what we call a sea breeze. So that's it. We can find a sea breeze at the beach. The beach will be a great place to fly my kite. Yippee skippy! I'm ready. Let's go to the beach. Thanks, Maggie. You're very, very welcome. Today I learned a lot about wind. I hope you did too. These are the notes I took in my journal. Wind is moving air. Air is made up of gas. Air can push and squeeze. That's called air pressure. Warm air rises and cool air sinks. Wind speed is measured with an anemometer. Wind direction is measured with a wind vane. There are different kinds of winds. Trade winds, jet streams, and prevailing winds. There are also sea breezes. The sea breeze is a kind of wind that helps me to fly my kite. Learning about wind was fun. Let's go on another scientific adventure real soon. Bye. So long. <laughs>